I've been walking all over the place, now I'm walking back again. I've been smiling all over my face, I wonder where the hell I've been. Won't you take me by the hand, divided by my brain? I'm feeling all the Saturday, I'm failing to explain. And I've been walking up into the air, following my aeroplane. One of these days we're gonna land somewhere, I do believe you're all insane. And I brought home a piece of cloud to stick it in a jar, and stuff it on the mantelpiece to tell me just how far. And Mum's just bought herself a leaning post, it's made of words and pages. It says God gives us all our daily toast, but Dad still earns the wages. And I just bought a jigsaw puzzle, it's made of cotton wool. And when I've undone every piece, the truth of it will fill up my skull. And I've got a brother and he's one year old, he wears his happy little nappy. He squeezes the content through the cart rails, what a very crappy little. Jappy. And lately I can even rest my toes on the horizon. I think my hands are just a job to rest my nothing. So hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to play Feeling All the Saturday from the great Flat Baroque and Berserk. It's actually one of my favorite Ray Harper songs uh, for no particular reason. It's a very simple song and I, n I don't know, I just see it as a, a feel-good song. It's uh, kind of funny. Uh, and it's very simple to play. Basically you just need two chords, G and D, and you alternate between these two chords most of the time, like this. And then at the end there is a descending progression from C to A minor. But we'll check uh, all of this in detail in a while. Uh, first of all, uh, this is in standard tuning and you just have to put a capo on the third fret. And those two chords that I was telling you about, the G and the D, you do them like this. Um, the G, you have to use your ring finger here on the second string, third fret, and then you do the G chord. And for the D, you just have to move these two fingers and then press the 6th string on the 2nd fret with your thumb. So your ring finger is uh, always pressing the 2nd string on the 3rd fret and you use it as an axis to change chords, like this. Okay, now I'm going to try to play the instrumental section for each verse uh, really slow. Now let's focus on my left hand.
And finally let's check the finger picking hand. So for the G and the D chord, your thumb is alternating between the 6th and the 4th strings and then each of your three fingers picks one of the first three strings. So then what you have to understand is that sometimes you pick the first string simultaneously with the bass, like this. Here and here. Here at the end you pick it simultaneously with the fourth string. But most of the time you pick it simultaneously with the 6th string. Then the second part. So here you pick the 1st and 6th strings. Here you pick the 1st and the 4th strings. And then when you get to C, of course you have to change your thumb to the 5th string. The only exception is when you get to the last verse uh, on this part. I think my hands are just a job to rest. My nothing oh. So, when you get to the C chord, you stay there a little longer. My nothing so it takes a little longer to do this descending progression from C to A minor. <laughs> 